Hey, GCC family, hope you guys are doing well today. You know, in my personal Bible study, I have recently been reading through the book of Leviticus. In fact, just last night is when I started, so I'm only a few chapters in. And man, oh man, is it a difficult book to understand. It is dense. It's full of all kinds of crazy rules and regulations. And it's this difficulty, I think, that sometimes causes us Christians, us, particularly us Christians in the West, to sometimes forget about the book of Leviticus. And we think to ourselves, yeah, there's a lot of details and a lot of rules in that book, but I don't need to read it. And it's unfortunate because I think that the book of Le Leviticus actually has a huge amount to offer us as followers of Jesus. One of the main things it can offer us is simply this. It helps us to understand how desperately in need of a savior we really are. Uh, as you guys probably know, the Old Testament is full of 613 laws. And if you're anything like me, you've broken more than a few of them. Even just in the Ten Commandments, you've broken more than a few of them, more than a few times. And just like Paul says in Romans chapter 7, the law is there to show me my sin. In essence, Paul is saying the law is there to show me how desperately in need of being saved I am. And the other thing that the book of Leviticus does is it il illustrates to us in rated R graphic <laughs> uh, violent content, in my opinion, um, the, something called the sacrificial system. And the sacrificial system was the Old Testament way to atone for our sins. You see, just like it says in Romans, the wages of sin is death. And that's something that we see all the way from Genesis chapter 3 moving forward. The wages of sin is death. And the sacrificial system was a temporary answer to all of that. Essentially, the idea was that I could sacrifice a, a, a bull cow or a goat or a sheep, and as it spilled its blood, my sins were paid for. Uh, and it was a temporary solution. It, it was something that I had to do Sometimes every time I sin, depending on what sin it was or what time of the year it was and all of these other details. But like essentially it was something that had to happen at least once a year. And uh, it was it's this graphic, crazy thing. And it gets particularly graphic in Isaiah or sorry, not in Isaiah, in Leviticus chapter 16, where Aaron who we met all the way back in the book of Exodus, the guy who helped Moses free the people of God from Egypt. Um, he is put in charge of this thing called the Day of Atonement, which is where uh, a goat would be sacrificed and a bull would be sacrificed. And this other goat would uh, have the sins of the nation of Israel placed on it. And then it would be sent out into the wilderness and, uh, we call that the scapegoat. Uh, it's where we get that phrase. Uh, I don't want to be a scapegoat. I don't want to have the sins of the nation put on me. Um, anyway, interesting fun fact. And uh, in essence, we see in graphic detail the the cost of our sin. It's, it's death. Um, this animal had to die so that our sins could be forgiven. Zoom forward uh, 1,500 to 1,000 years, depending on how you date it all. Zoom forward about that amount of time, and we get to Jesus. And in Hebrews chapter 9, we are illuminated to this amazing reality. The reason that 2,000 years later we don't sacrifice animals anymore is because that was an imperfect system. And it's now been replaced by the perfect spotless white lamb. So... Our sins now have been paid for, not by the blood of sheep and goats, but the, by the blood of Jesus, who cleanses us from our sin. And it's this amazing, glorious picture of God's justice. Because God doesn't look at our sin and say, mm, whatever, let's just forget about it. No, he looks at our sin and says, you're not going to pay for it. I'm going to pay for it. And that's what Jesus did on the cross. In vivid, bloody detail, Jesus died for our sins. His blood cleansing us from the death in hell that we deserved. Anyway, um, that's a fun fact about the book of Leviticus. I hope you guys have a great day. God bless.